come from the golden age of Disney Channel. If you wanted to be a star, you needed to know how to sing. You need to know how to dance. You need to know how to sing and dance at the same time. You need to know how to play sports for the Disney Channel games. Mm -hmm. uh, what else did you need to know how to do? Cry on command? I don't know. So it has been interesting seeing pop stars like The Weeknd and Harry Styles try to transition into acting. Now, given all the hours of Disney Channel I watched back in the day, I put in my hours, I put in my time. That makes me an expert. Yep, yeah, yeah. You know, all those hours of watching the Cheetah Girls, it needs to mean something. So I'm an expert in this field of um, cross, cross entertainment uh, careers, studies, paths. That's what, that's the official term that we use. With The Weeknd, we have seen him try to get into acting with the HBO show, The Idol. With Harry Styles, I think he was in a movie called My Policeman. Didn't watch it. But he was also in a movie called Don't Worry Darling, which was kind of like his acting debut. That's, that's, that is the film by which most people are judging his acting abilities and whether or not his career is even alive. Um, acting wise. But anyways, with these two different musicians, we have some some similarities in the ways that their their choices led to their acting careers kind of crashing and burning. And I think it's something we need to discuss today. I think there's two elements to why their acting careers imploded. <laughs> Ooh. That makes me think of the Titanic. <gasps> We're not allowed to use the word imploded for like the next year. Cause it's just a little too, it's just a little too much baggage with that word. Okay, why there are two, why they, um, yeah. There are two main reasons why Harry and we're just gonna call him Abel because I'm not really gonna sit up here and call this man the weekend every time I wanna talk about him, okay? Keep up. There are two factors that are similar between their two acting careers. And I think these two factors contribute to why their acting careers never really, you know, hasn't ha crashed and burned. Just, just over, really, probably. Hmm. The first factor is who they chose to work with, who they chose to collaborate with on these projects. Okay, that's factor number one. Factor number two is the drama surrounding the project. So much drama that it, the girls were talking about the show before the show even came out or before the movie even came out. Okay, so let's address the first one. Their collaborators. Now, let's start with The Weeknd and The Idol. Now, as we all know, Sam Levinson worked on The Idol. I think Sam Levinson, he's talented, okay? Euphoria season one, I ate it up. There were criticisms of season one, but I think overall, Euphoria season one was an enjoyable show. Now, season two, Not, not great. What happened? Sam, come to the stand, come to the stage. Forget all your haters in the room. Forget all your detractors. Forget all your, forget that. It's just me and you, what happened? What happened? <laughs> because season two of Euphoria, pretty much the only storyline that was like well-written, seemingly well-written, was Ruse, uh, played by Zendaya. Mm -hmm. You know, she's consistently getting these Emmys because she's getting good material to work with. Meanwhile, the other girls, they're doing their best with what they've been given, but what they've been given, it's not good enough compared to season one. Sam Levinson tends to write his, he makes certain choices when it comes to how he writes his female characters. They go through a lot of like violent, sexual, like, trauma and like exploitation and it's just like you're watching these scenes and you're just thinking to yourself did she have to have her top off for that sam did she have to have her top off for that i don't think so and then it came out of course that sydney sweeney herself had to sometimes tell sam levinson hey i don't even think my character needs to have her shirt off for this i think it's a little this is a little excessive so i think when your actor has to like step in a couple times and let you know hey you're doing too much that's a problem and it was still too much it was still too much. That's that's what got me. It's very clear Sam Levinson has a taste issue when it comes to depicting his female characters on screen. 
Now, circling over to The weekend, Mr. Abel, Willing and Abel. Now, I'm a fan of The weekend's music. However, the way he talks about women on his song, sometimes, hey. <laughs> it makes sense how these two men ended up working together. You know what I mean? Like, The weekend's music, it's a lot of drugs, it's a lot of sex, it's a lot of women, and it's violent sometimes and so you can kind of see how like thematically these two these two artists could kind of like gel and work together but unfortunately with the two of them it's like who is there to hold you back who is there to say hey that's too much who is there to say let's rein that back <laughs> okay rein it in rein it in who who is there to do that i don't think i don't think there was anybody I watched episode one of The Idol. There's a whole scene in the very beginning of the show where Jocelyn, who is played by Lily Rose Depp, she is a pop star. She is doing a photo shoot. She's showing off her body. The intimacy coordinator steps in and is like, hey, we can't do this until we put the proper paperwork in first. So we just gotta put a stop to this right here, right now. Now the photographer was getting irritated. Jocelyn's people were getting irritated. So what did they do? They locked the intimacy coordinator in a, in a bathroom. Like the intimacy coordinator's job is to protect the talent and to make sure they're not being taken advantage of, to make sure everything is all, you know, the paperwork is in. We get consent all from all parties that this is okay. The, the, the talent saying I'm okay with this is not enough, right? Like the intimacy coordinator still needs to do their job we need to respect that because they're there to protect people people get taken advantage of especially young women they don't want to they don't want to upset anybody they're willing to do whatever it takes to get to the top and some protections need to be put in place so that people don't feel pressured to say yes to things that they don't want to do that they're not comfortable with as a viewer you're watching this and you're going sam levinson you are literally just like you're clearly doing this because people have criticized you for the way you've depicted women in your shows obviously you're not happy about it and this is your way of like criticizing back or like having a laugh it was just like your ego is just running just running wild all over the script and i don't like that you know what i mean i don't like that now don't get me wrong the weekend is not a good actor um <laughs> so like even if the material was good i struggle to see how abel would have been able to act his way through it but it didn't help that Sam Levinson his sort of like poor taste was kind of also like a hindrance in the show now let's let's take a look over at Harry Styles and don't worry darling now I've watched Her don't worry darling recently uh I the fact that I finished it is wow pat I'm gonna pat myself on the back the sh the movie's not good the movie's not good now the Acting. The acting. Let's talk about that. Florence Pugh is in the movie, stole every scene she was in, ate what she was given. Fortunately, what she was given was very <laughs> bare bones, you know what I'm saying? I don't think she was full after she ate what was on the plate, but she, she ate, okay? Harry, he was okay. At the very least, he's an okay actor. I think with a better script, perhaps I would have a more positive opinion. His acting was the problem was other people involved in this project. The director and the writer. Now, I, don't, I know Olivia Wilde directed it. I don't know if she wrote it. I'm gonna put on screen who wrote it. But, I mean, the direction wasn't, was not good. The script wasn't great. It was so heavy handed. It was trying way too hard. And the, it just, the movie just ended up not being enjoyable. So, again, being able as, get it, able? The weekend? <laughs> Uh, anyways, being able as an actor to have taste, to be able to know who is like the right collaborator, whose script is going to gel with what you can bring to the table, like that's a, that's a talent, okay? That is a talent that perhaps Mr. Uh, Abel Tesfe, okay, The weekend he doesn't quite have and Harry Styles, we need to work on that with you, okay? I don't know if there's a chance for you to come back in Hollywood and, as an actor, but we need to, we need to develop that, you and your agent, okay? Because this ain't it. Mm -mm. Even just, you know, as a regular, you know, civilian <laughs> who's not an actor, <sighs> as overdramatic as I am, not an actor, 
when you're looking for a new job, you're looking at the job description, you're meeting with your future manager or whoever's interviewing you, and you're trying to have discernment and you're trying to f intuitively decide like, is this right for me? Does this align with who I am? And are these people being genuine when they're talking to me and all that stuff? Like that's hard. Like that is a talent. Like some people consistently do jobs, regular people do jobs and the jobs is just chaos. There's drama. The manager doesn't know what they're doing. It's a mess. Okay. Those people, we need to discernment, intuition, taste. I don't know. It's not, it's not there. We need to work on that. But then some people, they don't have that issue. I'm just trying to bring it down for the regular the regular folks like you and me. Well, I don't I don't know who's watching this. But the regular folks like you and me to understand what I'm trying to say. So unfortunately in this case, Sam Levinson kind of brought down again the weekend can't act. Just from what I saw in that one episode, I understand that you're a singer. Maybe we need to take some classes. Okay, workshop it. Workshop it. Sam Levinson brought down the idol. Olivia Wilde brought down, and whoever wrote it brought down Don't Worry Darling. Now back to my second point, which is the drama surrounding both projects. Now the idol, just given all the euphoria controversy, Sam Levinson is like already a hot topic. It's not too often that a show creator, writer, whatever gets so popular or so well known that he becomes a household name. We all know this man's name. Plenty of TV shows that are amazing, good quality shows that we don't know the names of the creators. But when we have complaints, we'll, we'll learn their government names very quickly. Dan and Dave from Game of Thrones, I'm looking at you. <laughs> when I have a problem with the showrunners and the writers and directors and whatever, I will learn their names very quickly. But otherwise, I mind my business. St. Levinson, already controversial. Um, that Rolling Stone article came out before the show premiered, basically, I don't remember the details of the article, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't, I ain't really prepared for this video like that. Um, the article was criticizing the show, and then The Weeknd tweeted in response to that article, I think he said like, you mad, or something like that, I forget. I'll put it on the screen. Shout out to my editor. It's me. I'm the editor. <laughs> Uh, okay. It was just so much drama around the show that when the show finally did come out, you're expecting something to really, you know, get the girls talking. But it got the girls talking for the wrong reasons. When you defend your show that strongly on Twitter and the show ends up not being good and it's exactly what Rolling Stone said it was, it's just not a good look. It just makes it crash and burn harder. It would have been less painful if the show got no press, if the show got no attention and it just kind of quietly failed. Like it just kind of quietly sucked. But because it very loudly sucked, I mean, every time I log into YouTube, it's, I'm getting recommended a new video dragging the idol, dragging the weekend, dragging Sam Levinson. You know, you did it to yourself. Bad press is, is sometimes it's bad press. Press, 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 press. Abel got too much press. And now it's up and it's stuck. Okay? <laughs> now if we swivel on over to Harry Styles. Now, where do we begin with the drama? First of all, Harry dated Olivia Wilde. The, the tea was hot from the jump. Harry was dating Olivia, and then, you know, Olivia was going through that divorce with Jason Sudeikis. She was getting served divorce papers or something while she was promoting the film on stage. Ugh. Messy, messy, messy. What else happened? There was the spitting. Spitgate. I think it was at the Cannes Film Festival. Harry went to go sit down next to Chris Pine, who's also in the movie, and people were saying Harry spit on Chris Pine. Now... Y'all, come on. We as a people. We as a people. Let's use context clues. Because Chris, they, no. No. Then it came out that Florence Pugh and Olivia Wilde weren't really getting along because Olivia Wilde was talking smack about Florence to Shia LaBeouf, who was supposed to be in the movie originally, playing Harry Styles' role. It was just, it was just a lot. It was just 
a lot. It was something new every day during that whole Cannes Film Festival or whatever festival it was, press tour situation. It was like every time I logged into Twitter, it was some new tea, some, some crazy stuff going down. And then to go and to go to this, to, to this film in the theater, I didn't see the theater, I saw it in my house two weeks ago. Um, but to go to the theater, for me it was my iPhone in a dark room at 9 p.m on a Tuesday. That's where I watched it. Um, but for, for many it was the theater. Well, was it for many? Because I don't think the movie even made a lot of money. Mm. But the point I'm trying to make is, you, all this drama, you go see the movie, and the movie's not even, and the movie's not even, and the movie's not even. The movie's not good. So it's just, it's like all this energy and press has been built up around this movie, and then you go see it, and it's like, mm -hmm. Should, do you want to see me do that again? Not good. Not good, not good, not good. In conclusion, pop stars, any other pop stars that are trying to get into acting and are trying to be like the leading man in a TV show, don't. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. I think more actors would benefit from being the supporting character. You know, we don't have to be the leading man first. We can be the supporting character first. Let's test the waters. Let's see how that goes. And then we can do a bigger Thing, because when you crash and burn as the leading man, you crash and burn hard. It's it's not good. The weekend's career, it's over. Even if he takes acting classes now, girl, it might be too late for him. We, we might have to have like a 10 minute, a 10 minute? A 10 year break, try again in a decade, I don't know. Maybe by then we'll forget this. Harry, I think still has a chance, but I don't so yeah, my advice, A, let's do supporting roles first. B, taste. That's kind of a tough one. I feel like that's something you either have or you don't. And if you don't have it, you probably have to develop it over time. Unless you have a really good agent or manager. Like, I don't know, how does, how does this work? I'm not an actor. <laughs> mm, I don't know how this works. Let's get good at reading scripts and like talking to who we're collaborating with and understanding the t who we're collaborating with and making sure that what they're bringing to the table is sturdy, okay? Because the table is shaking. The, d the table has that one leg that's a little shorter than the others and it's wobbly, so like the table just constantly b b b back and forth. You know what I'm talking about? You know them tables. What is this metaphor? That's my advice from a certified expert, my certification, all the hours I put in watching the Disney Channel. Let me know how you feel about the idol. Let me know how you feel about Dora Darling. Let me know how you feel about these, these two acting careers. Do you see similarities between the two? Let's have a discussion, okay? Okay.